something there. Like, I don't know. It looks like a silver edge. Could it be a little cash of coins? Well, good afternoon, boys and girls. It is Saturday. It's 2.30. It's 53 degrees. And I'm sitting out here at Relic Roundup. It's going to hit it once again. I've been coming out here a little bit every day and hunting and Hunter's been showing up and uh, Sean's been showing up and we've been finding a few things as you have seen and uh, as long as this is still producing some coins and relics, we're going to hit it. And uh, today my objective out here is going to be, I'm looking on the map and we've been hunting down this, this lower end of the, uh, the uh, relic roundup area, kind of down here close to where this church is. And if you look on that map right here, you'll see where it says Deeds, so that's a dwelling. That's where I found a, uh, a World War I belt buckle. So I'm going to search in that area, then up where it says loading track, the loading dock racks. That's where the train track came down. And we're going to be hunting up in these woods and kind of close to those woods. And, and hopefully we can find some of those, more of those railroad tags that uh, Hunter found and some other railroad memorabilia. So that's going to be my objective today. So I'm here, let me get suited up, and as soon as I find something good, cross my fingers I do, uh, I'll show it to you. So let's get this moving. I've been out here for about two hours, and all i found is a spoon. Like I said in my last video, you know, you can come out here and hunt three or four hours and just get one thing. But usually what you get is good. And I was getting a solid 11-12 here. I didn't live dig it because a lot of 11-12s out here is junk. But uh, this one I popped out looks like a nickel, so let's go down and let's see what it's going to be. Yeah, can you see it? First one sees us the winner. It's right there. Oh, it's gonna be an Indian, I can tell already. I can tell by looking at it, you can probably see it there as well. Uh, I may have a date on it. Yeah, so where I found my other Indian head was over here. Yeah, this one's gonna have good, good uh, definition. Let's wipe it on my pants and see if we can get a... Oh, I don't see a date. Do you see a date? We get in focus. Can you tell? All right, let me clean it up some more and I'll get a date on it if I can. Well, to me, it looks like a 1915. So it's gonna be one of the early buffaloes. Just missed uh, V nickel by, by two years. And so I'm over here on this side of Relic Roundup. I've been finding all the coins over there, but I have found a V nickel over here and two buffaloes right here where I met in a war nickel right over there. So there's stuff out here. Let's keep swinging and uh, see what else we can get. Well, I'm back out here again at the Relic Roundup. I've just been coming out here for about an hour and a half every day after work, just kind of <clears throat> hitting spots where I know that I haven't detected, see if I can find anything else. And I was getting a, a 26 to a 30, jumping all around. And I got a nice little buckle. That might be military. Uh, I have to clean it up and look on it. I know I've dug some military buckles like this in the past. All right, I did some cleaning up on this buckle and straightened it up a little bit. And turn it this way. I don't know if you can see it there right there. It's going to say Patton, January. Uh, does that say January? 1204? Is that what it says? Let's get a little closer. Yeah, January 1204. So January 12th, 1904, this is what's going to, they're going to call a Army uh, World War I belt buckle. Uh, the Plowboys, they called them. I'll put a picture up right here beside the buckle, what a Plowboy looks like. And so this is a great find from the Great War. So there's still stuff out here. Let's keep swinging, see what else we can get. Well, back out at Relic Roundup today on this very sleety, you can see it sleeting here, this winter mixture we have here in in Texas, one day it may be 76 and hot, the next day it's sleeting. You never know. This is supposed to clear out here pretty soon, another hour or so. As long as it's not wet, uh, I'm doing okay. Oh man, we've been detecting for about an hour and a half, and I've gotten a spoon, and uh, Hunter right over here has gotten uh, a couple of Wheaties, and uh, something just makes me sick to my stomach. He, he found this <laughs> thing, but I'm happy that he found it. Check this out. You know what that is? That is a Texas and Pacific Railway tag. It was ringing up like a, what'd you say, a six, uh, 27? 27, yeah. A 27. Y'all check that out. That's what I've been looking for. <laughs> Man, Texas and Pacific Railway. We've been finding the uh, the um, uh, bell seals and stuff like that, but we haven't found anything else. 
most of the railroad is going to be over there in those woods over there. So we might find some more of this stuff over there once they clear that out. But man, what a great find. Look at that. That is an awesome find. Man. We ought to go. So congratulations, brother. Thank you. There you go. Hold that up. Let's get a picture of you. All right. Let's keep digging. Well, I was getting a 29 to a 30. Real jumpy. And uh, dug it up and, hey. I'm not sure if I know what this is. I think I do, but I'm not sure. Maybe you guys can help me out. I've already cleaned it up. Is that a hood ornament? Is that what that is? Do y'all recognize the front of that, if that's a hood ornament? It should go just like that. That's probably 1930s, maybe 1940s, I would think. I'm not sure on that uh, logo there. It's a, like an arrowhead. That's a nice find. Dates the place, doesn't it? All right, let's keep on going. Well, as I was showing you on the map, that little square down there that has that yellow box that has a D on it, on the key of that map, it means dwelling. So there was a dwelling place, a house out here. And so I've been out here for a little bit just looking for signs of the old house. I was getting a really jumpy signal from now from a 21 up to a 29, 30, really deep. Started digging it up and this is what I started getting. Wouldn't you agree that this is definitely a sign of an old house? Red bricks and different iron signals in here, but I don't know. Can you see it right there? I see a little piece of silver. Hope I didn't nick it with my shovel because there's a, a pipe or something down here down in the very bottom. So let's see. Let's go in here. Let's get. Let's see what that's going. Oh, I see it. Let me get that out of the way. Check that out. What is that going to be? That's a barber quarter. That's another barber quarter. Black like the rest of them. I only had one good coin or two good coins of mercury and that big uh, two Bolivars that came out of here. The rest of them are all tarnished up really bad. Get out in the sun. Right here at the house site. And that's what I was trying to find today. So I'm going to focus in right here and see what I can find. I hate taking them out of the coin ball. I, I wish I could just build a display with it just like that. But anyway, there she is. Beautiful barber. Get in the sun. I can't tell. What year is that? Can y'all tell? The sun glare here is so bad. 1914. 1914. Maybe right here we can see it better. 1914 barber quarter. Got a beautiful tarnish to it. Still see the imprint there. Let's put it back in the imprint. All right, let's get a picture and let's keep swinging right in here and see what else we can get. Okay, guys, we're going to live dig that. 25, 27, 28. It's got the right tone. It's got got the right depth of 26 at 8 inches that has all the the telltale signs that this is going to be a good target so let's uh, get our mark here and let's see if we can do a live dig here let's see what we come up with let's check the the hole again. All right, still down in the hole. Come on, it's been a while since I've gotten a target and I'm kind of getting bored. And I'm getting nothing. Maybe it's deeper.
Yep, nothing. All right, I had to turn the camera off. I couldn't find it. Only got two hands, and I was digging here, and it was over here. Just popped it out. It's not a coin, but it is going to be a piece of jewelry. I think it's going to be one of those Catholic, uh, Catholic necklaces. Yeah, it's going to have Jesus on it or our Mary. I knew it sounded too good just to be junk. Yeah, I'll clean it on up. Let me do some cleaning up on it and I'll get back with you. You can kind of see it there. I haven't cleaned it up really, really good yet gonna take a lot of scrubbing on it it's not gold or silver it's just gonna be one of those Catholic Madonna gonna have Jesus there on it but I'll put it with my Catholic religious display hey I knew it was gonna be not trash by the the tone it was ringing up a 29 I was hoping it'd be a coin but I'll take this I like relics too I think it would make sense that I would find a piece of jewelry right here see the second tub up that's where I found that barber quarter this is that uh, house site on that map that I showed you so this whole area right here is what I've been working in and so a lot of trash in here but you can squeak out a couple of treasures when you're at it well back out here Sunday afternoon I got uh, Hunter with me an army man down there is with me all right me and Sean came up here up in the horse pen in the backyard we really never have hunted this part we've hunted way over there and all around but he says he's got a silver rim in here Let's see. Oh, that's silver, buddy. That is silver for sure. What's it going to be? Going to be a Merc? You do it. Do the honors. Or Barber? Come on, Barb. Nah, it's a Merc. Mercury Dime. What year is it? We got you some silver, man. About time. My old eyes. 44. A 44. Check that out, guys. 1944 Merc. That's kind of a common date out here. That's what I dug the other day. Let's get a picture of that. That's a beauty. All right, man. Well, congratulations. Thank You're you, on sir. the board. Absolutely. You're the only one today on the board. <laughs> well, we're still up here in this horse pen. There's our buddy right there. I was getting a 22, and I walked past it, and then I felt guilty thinking, well, it could be something. I'm glad I came back. It, it's kind of a neat little find. I don't know what it is, though. So. There it is. It's some type of badge, and then it opens up like that. There's nothing on the back. It's got to be some type of toy or something at one time. Let me clean it up and see if we can get any more information off of it it's kind of neat i think it's going to be army man said maybe like a little rouge case or something close that up close that up maybe an old i didn't see anything on the back no markings or anything like that but hey that's a cool find let's sit it right there and get a picture and see if we can't find us a silver coin but army man has already got a signal so let's go down there and see what he's got what was it ringing up 13 13 that's a war nickel nice i like a little silver even though it's 35 percent they were produced from 1942 to 1945 what year is that one 43 a 43 probably a p i can't tell anyway that's a good fun that's a good way to start just come out here just for a little while pop a little silver let's go see if we can get some big silver big silver well we moved on from the backyard we didn't find anything there so we came back out here in the area that we've been hunting i just got a solid 11 12 think it was a nickel popped it up but it's not a nickel check this out it looks kind of like a button i'm not sure got a lot of build up on it could be a nickel no, let me clean it up and let me get back with you. All right. I don't know if you can see her, but she's looking to the left. And right at the very bottom, you'll see a 1901. 
1901 V nickel. Pretty eaten up out here in this oil field dirt. This is in that black dirt where the quarters have been coming out kind of dark. They're always fun to dig though. I love digging V nickels and shield nickels, but we're not old enough out here to be shield nickel territory. Uh, that's going to be late 1880s. Um, we're more around 1900, 1930s. So I'll take that any day. Let's keep going. All right, we're going to live dig this. What is it ringing up? 27, 28, 29. Oh gosh, you know, these, we dug these all day long and it ends up being trash. Look at those deer running down through there. There's another one right there. All right, we'll get back to Hunter. We've come over this thing a thousand times. <laughs> Look at there. A bottle. Uh, Copper top bottle. <laughs> Can you open it? Hang on, hang on. Move your, move your lid away. Something's in there. I do. I think I see something in there. What is it? Get a pick up a stick. Dig it out. Let's see. You see something? Oh gosh, man. Oh no, hold on, hold on, hold on. I might have gave up the wrong target. That looks Seems like I don't know. Coin, looks like a silver it? edge. Could it be a little cash of coins? I'm glad we live dug it. Nobody would believe it if we just didn't do it. How deep was it? About eight, six inches? Yeah, here's the coin. Oh gosh, it is a it is a coin. Is it a barber? It is a barber. It's a barber. Let me see that. What year is that? Can you read it? Are you serious? Well you got your barber. 1898. 1898. Or 1888. 1898. Uh, it's got to be 1898. There's still something in here. <laughs> There's still more in there? Yep. It's packed in there, isn't it? Here, help me pour this in there. Maybe that'll help loosen it up a little bit. Last dig of the day, huh? Mm -hmm. Got you a barber. Is it just packed in, nothing else in there? I see, I still see something in there, I'm pretty sure. Oh, I yeah. see two. Yeah, I see three or four. No, no. Look. It's all down in there. I can't see it on camera, but I, I can see it in person, but I can't. Hang on, hold it still. Dude. You're kidding me. Ready to see? Oh, well, yeah. Got it. Another, another, uh, another dime. Maybe we'll get that. There's one dime. Feels like another. That's another in barber. Focus here. Yeah, I'm looking at. I'm not looking through the camera. And I'm not filming it. There's also another coin in the in the bottle. That's shit. one dime right there. There's both of them are one dime. Both are one dimes. So that makes what three? That makes three. Let's just make sure I didn't lose nothing. Huh? Thank you for a muddy hand. Put them right there. Yeah. Three. There's four. Serious? Yep. That's one dime. I guess we should make sure they're not <laughs> seated. Would be be nice. You had eighteens. That's three. That it? You got a hold of somebody's coin jar. 
Put your pro uh, move your lid away there from. There's another one in there. That's, God. The, that's the one that was <laughs> against the edge. Oh man! I mean, you got where's the other one at? There's three. That's all we got so far, right? Uh, we got one in my pouch. Oh, okay. There's four. Okay. You got to get a stick, probably. Mm-hmm. A uh, four, five coin. No, you can't get a coin spell. I argue. Ooh. I argue with you on this thing. I know it. I gave it up though. I rightfully gave it up. My back's hurt, and I didn't want to dig it. That's where it goes sometimes. Look, that's a barber too. I see barber right there. That's four barbers. Is that it? Yeah, well. Put but, your pinpointer up to it and you can tell, move your lid away from it and and you'll see if there's anything else in there. All muddy, it's packed in there for 100 years. Yeah, there's nothing else in there. You even got a jar to keep them in now, don't you? Gosh, man, this is unbelievable. Let's see your, let me see your other one. Let's put them on here. You wanted the barber. Mm -hmm. Got five. I, I'm not surprised. Uh, I'm not. I mean, I, I've dug that quarter coin spill, that, that two barber quarters out of here, that Standing Liberty, that uh, Washington quarter, all the barber dimes I've dug out of here. I'm not. Uh, there it is, right there. Hunter, and let's see that lid. Put it in an old jar. Check that out. Copper lid, old jar. The jar. Then get a picture of the jar too. Check that out, man. Hunter nice. got him a coin spill. A going coin cash, actually, isn't it? Oh. Alright, not through here, and where we're standing, right where those white trailers are, coming right through here is the railroad tracks and the loading docks. I bet this was somebody's uh, coins back in the day and they lost them on the docks and we passed over this thing a thousand times. Well, let's clean, the, let's clean them up and see what year they are. All right. They are 1892, 1905, 1902, 1898, 1898. All in that little jar right here at the railroad track loading. And that, when I first saw it, I thought it was the top of a whiskey bottle that had broken off. Yeah, I told the hunter he didn't know what I was doing when I uh, put the uh, pinpointer up there. You take the lid off. It's a copper lid. And, uh, and that's just to check if there's anything silver or anything in the jar. You always dig the jars out. I don't know that you may have a mark on that bottle too. The bottle's a treasure. There's some writing on it, but I don't think it's going to give us a... Oh, dude, man. That is awesome. Let's uh, let's get them out and display them. Let's take some pictures, man. Let me, I want you to hold them. They're shining up a little bit. That tarnish may come off of them. Like he rubble more coming off. Oh, that's good. Man, congratulations. You got you a doggone coin cash. And uh, that's five. That's five in a five jar. Can't Don't believe you. that, man. That is awesome. That is remar remarkable, man. But anyway, I'm glad you got it. Army man got something. You got something. I got something. We're all happy, aren't we? Yes, sir. What do you think about your first cash, bro? Oh, it's awesome. Barber. Five silver. Five silver. Oh, uh, Sean said the next one's his. It's going to be Barbara Ads. So I wouldn't doubt. I wouldn't doubt. Last dig of the day. The sun is going down. And we're going to head to the house. Well, we made it into from the hunt last night. We stayed out there pretty late. And uh, I'm pulling into my garage right now because it's raining outside cold and rainy so i got to shoot my wrap up right here inside the garage but uh, hunter's on his way over here to bring that uh cache of barber coins and his tag that i can do the wrap up with too and wow what can i say you know to give up a target but i couldn't think of a better person to give it up to than than hunter he, he was there searching for a barber all day long and lo and behold the last dig of the day he not only got one barber he got five barbers that's just unreal there's still more stuff out there. 
Uh, we just got to keep cleaning it up and, and listening deeper, and there's just more and more stuff out there. So I'm glad he got it. I'm glad Army Man got his uh, Silver Dime as well, and I got my Barber Quarter. And uh, so not as many finds, but some good finds. So I got everything laid out. Let me uh, turn you around. Let me show you what we found this time. Well, here's all the trash. You can see we dug quite a bit of trash out of here today, uh, this week. Lots of stuff. And these things here ring up like 36s. And uh, that's why we don't live dig a lot, because it's a lot of brass. And boy, did we dig the trash. That's just my trash. Uh, there's Hunter's trash, and there's uh, Sean's trash, too. That's not, uh, not in here. But anyway, here's uh, some notable mentions. I did dig one spoon. Uh, two spoons actually one a whole spoon one's a broken spoon. I got a uh, some type of old lock pretty not pretty bad And then I got this 1930s Elgin American um, Rouge case and what's weird is that I dug the brush before I dug the case in another location And so now I have the complete set 1930s uh, a Makeup case that's really neat. I got a uh, Catholic necklace is called the uh, the miracle uh, m medallion I think and uh, it's pretty eaten up pretty bad but you saw in the video the pictures on it what it would look like I did get a World War one belt buckle you can see the date on it right there and that's a nice find I got five Wheaties I don't know I did have it clean them up to see what the latest the earliest date is I got one Buffalo nickel that is a 1935 and then I got my best find of the week is a 1914 barber and uh, it's pretty slick uh, but it's tarnished but it's okay I think it gives it character as long as I can see the date on it that's good then here comes the really good finds of the week these are hunter on two separate locate uh, se uh, two separate days he hunted here the first time and got this Texas uh, and Pacific Railroad tag I would love to open that up and see what it says. Probably a number in there, but it's probably going to break if you do that. And then last night, boy, he got this bottle, which is a vintage bottle. It says HHA on it. We think it stands for, what was it, Harriet? Harriet Hubbard. Hubman, Hubbard Ayers. And she was a cosmetic uh, entrepreneur from the late 1800s into the early 1900s. And so had a nice little uh, copper case uh, copper lid that gave off a good signal for him and lo and behold look what he got 1892 first year barber two 1898s this one's looking really nice got a 1905 uh, 1902 and a 1905 so he got him a five coin barber coin uh, cash so Lucky dog you, right. man. <laughs> all right. I'm glad you got it. But anyway, there's all the trash. And there's all the treasure. Like I always say, the greatest treasure isn't what you can go out to Relic Roundup and dig up out of the ground, even a five barber dime cash. The greatest treasure is what's up in heaven. Keep searching. Keep looking up. Until we get, meet again, I just wish everybody happy hunting and God bless. Mm -hmm.